Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the month of May. What we're going to be doing is a spiritual energy read along with a tarot card read. Okay, they always coincide for me. And I'll get spiritual messages while we're talking about the cards. Okay, so let me split the deck right here. Okay, at your center energies, you have the lion, the strength card. Crossing that, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Cups is your foundational energies. Your past energies is the Four of Wands. Crowning energies, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I can relate. And your future energies, you've got the Page of Cups. Okay, so let's see what story the Spirit has to tell with these cards, okay? Okay. Okay. It's going to be a little bit different than the traditional um, understanding of this card. Um, I feel like you're the lion. <clears throat> and I feel like somebody has been trying to keep you down, to hold you down. And why you're kind of apt to listen to this person is because they have this motherly divine energy for you. It's an elder that you respect and you are apt to listen to them. You're apt to heed their direction is what I feel. Okay. Um, so I don't know how they're trying to stifle you. That'll come through in the other cards. But I, I feel like they're trying to stifle your energy. It's almost as if they know how powerful you are and they're afraid to let that be released. They are afraid to let that be released. Okay? Ultimately, what this person is doing is because of fear. And I think that they can't stand to see you be set free. I don't think they can stand to let you go. Okay? That's what I'm seeing here. It's this person who wants to keep you back, hold you back, keep you young, keep you little. <laughs> um, just kind of keep you for themselves. They know how absolutely beautiful you are. And they're afraid to let that go. Okay, as if they wouldn't be good enough for you to ever look back at again if you were actually set free. You know, it's like that saying, um, if you love something, set it free. This person is afraid that you wouldn't come back. That's what it is. This person loves you. They're afraid to set you free. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, so crossing this energy. Um, okay, I feel like you have been working almost behind the scenes, okay? You've been building your integrity. You've been building your character. That's what the Spirit's saying. Building your integrity, building your character all along. And it's almost as if it's in secret because once again, I feel like you were held back. Like you weren't allowed to express your full Potential. You weren't allowed to express your full potential here. Okay? And so you've been working individually by yourself. I think at some level, you were naive to this type of oppression. And you really didn't realize that this person was doing that to you. And in fact, I don't think the person was doing it intentionally. Again, it was out of a sense of fear on the person's part. It's not like they want to harm you or injure you or anything like that. Um, and so what you did, you didn't really realize that you were being tampered, that your potential was being tampered. What you continued to do was work on this individually. You worked on yourself individually, uh, kind of naively, as if um, it, it's as if 
the person on the other side didn't want you to develop these characteristics. And if you knew it, you might have not done so. Okay, but this is in almost like a childhood innocence. You continue to do what you were doing anyway. Okay, kind of growing away from them anyway. And it wasn't intentional on your part. You didn't know what you were doing. But in developing your own personality, characteristics, attributes, you inadvertently started to grow away from this person. It's like you were expanding beyond their level of living. Beyond their, it's not intellectual level. It's, it's they live a more simple, sheltered life. That's what it is. Okay, and you have been growing and expanding yourself so that you have to break out of that cage now. There's just no containing you any longer. Okay, so it was happening anyway. They didn't want this kind of growth and expansion to happen. Okay, but you were doing it anyway. It was, it was completely, gosh, what is the idea that I'm getting here? I just feel like it was unintentional, but ordained. It was just meant to be. It it was just meant to be. It's just the path that you're supposed to be taking. And it's it's automatic growth in that path. Automatic expansion in that path, okay? Foundational energies is the king of cups. Wow. You are a cancer. You are an honorable person. You are such an honorable person. And you, you're not recognizing your worth. That's what I see with this card. You are not recognizing your worth. Your cup is absolutely full. And what you are doing, you are sitting here humbly. Humbly. And look at what you're offering. And you don't even know the treasure that you hold. That's, how, that's what I'm feeling here. You don't even know the treasure that you hold. Very humble, very honorable. Um, all, it's this naivete again. Almost this innocence to you. When you are just full, 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 your cup is absolutely full here. Okay? And yet, yet this obedience, I feel this obedience in you. Because you know what this horse is getting ready to do? Perform. Bow. That's what it's getting ready to do. It's getting ready to bow. Okay? It's as if you're saying, okay, uh, what do you want me to do next? You know and you're doing all of these tricks, and it's absolutely amazing what you hold in this cup. Absolutely amazing. This is your foundation. So very, very strong foundation. It's time to recognize your worth. It's time to recognize your worth with this card. Okay, in the past. I truly feel like you are coming from such a... Happy and secure environment, okay? It, it's always been happy. You didn't know that there was kind of this dynamic of codependence. That's exactly what the Spirit's saying. You didn't recognize this environment of codependence. It was certainly not a harsh um, experience. It was not... Anything that depleted you or um, took advantage of, of you or anything like that. It was truly a nurturing and good situation here. It's just you didn't realize how much the other person was depending on you for... It's almost like it, they were depending on you for their well-being, for their... It's for their own worth. 
You didn't realize how much the person was depending on you to make them a worthy person. You know, like, oh, I have this and so I have a purpose. I have this person and so my life has meaning. Okay. In your innocence, this is what you're dreaming of. In fact, I feel like no other thought has ever crossed your mind. You just, you just know that you're going to be just fine. You're going to be happy. You're, you've been content all along, I feel. Okay? And maybe you've had your little inconsistencies and your doubts here and there, but hardly. I feel like what you're focusing on is you, you never doubted that you were going to be successful. And what your intent is in this, why do you want all of this? It's because you want to give. It, it's almost as if you don't even want the success and this joy and this accomplishment for yourself. It's that you want it for your other person. I feel like this is almost like a mother-son, mother-daughter, father-daughter type grandma, grandson, some type of relationship like that, where, you know what, you're going to go out and win the world. Why? So you can share it with your grandma back home. So you can share it with your mom back home. Something like that. It's like your intentions are completely, they think that you're leaving them and you're, you have no hint of that. You have no thought crossing your mind that you're leaving them behind. They see it as you leaving them behind. You don't see it that way at all. You, your full intention is to include them. Okay, guys? So, Cancer, if you're not recognizing this dynamic in yourself, think about a couple of things. I don't know if this is um, a person or a situation, a circumstance, a... You know what just flashed through my mind? I, a foster mom. Okay, now that that has huge significance to us on my channel. So if you don't watch my channel, we've talked about the adopted son. It's a biblical concept where... Um, the, the, the children are actually adopted back to the original creator, the original Elohim. Okay, it's like we go astray and then we come back to the Elohim and so we're readopted back as sons. Okay, that's the concept that we've talked about on my channel about fostering. Fostering in Greek means to cherish in the bosom. So it's like your heartfelt warmth. It's your hearth. Your hearth here, the, um, the fireplace is always burning here. Okay? I almost get the idea, foster, f fostering here. Okay? I don't know what that means. Maybe you guys have an understanding of that. Okay? Um, you know, cancer is a very nurturing, motherly situation also. So could the tables be reversed in this? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know if this, Cancer, if this is you, it is. It is. I think I've been reading the reverse. You're the one who's afraid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And this is your progeny. This is your... Um, this person is either your child, your student, your coworker that you've been training, your um, foster kid, your, 
I, I really feel like it's a child or a grandchild of yours, okay? I think that I think I've had it reversed. I really do. I think that's you. Well, I had to give it to you straight without any bias. So I surely did that. Okay. So review these things, you guys. Review these things. What which character do you see yourself as? Okay. Review that. That's huge. That's huge. Don't worry. Do not worry. The, these this child is not leaving you. By any means, they, they never had an intention of leaving you behind ever, ever, ever. Okay. Page of Cups in your future. This person, you guys, if you are this, if you are this, your person who's about to grow and expand beyond your, you know, trajectory here. Um, this is your future. Look, it's the page of cups. This person is always, always, always going to be your child. Always. You are always going to have that type of relationship with this person. Okay? This kind of... Um, it's a very, very specific um, relationship where you have been able to share your gifts with them also, right? You feel like you've nurtured this person and all that comes with that. You're a role model to this person. You, you've taught this person. You're a teacher for the person. It's all of that. Everything that a parent does, but everything that a master does or that a teacher does, you've, you've done for this person. And they were always going to be in your life like this with the emotional aspect of it. You're always going to have that connection to this person. Okay, so let your fears be allayed. I, this is, nothing is changing here. Nothing is changing here except that your person is going out to enjoy and expand and become this wonderful, humble, but potentially powerful person that they should be. Okay? Okay. So this, this, is, this is reassurance for you. I, I completely feel like this is reassurance for you. You are not losing anything in this. You are setting this person free and they are coming back to you. That's what it is. Interesting. I did not see that change coming. Okay. So we're going to pull four more cards to get kind of clarification on this spread here. It's, I want these cards. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. I love when the cards just repeat like this. They literally, to me, they're just telling the same story. Okay. This person has been the twinkle in your eye. They've been everything for you. You know, they mean the world to you. They mean the world to you. Okay. Look at what they're doing. They're filling their own pond. Why, mom? It's because you before had been filling it for them. You were so nurturing, so caring, so tender with them. You filled their cup over and over and over and over again. You look at what you've taught them to fill their own pool. This is the pool is where all the talent is gathered into the pool. Okay. They've been filling their own pool because you taught them how. You taught them how. They've learned from you. This is, this is simply a star child. A star child. You did everything right. You did everything right. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is also your person. This isn't you. How strange. I don't think I've ever had a reading like this before. Okay? This is also your person. It's not you. I'll tell you where you are. How much they honor you. How much they respect you. How much they look up to you. Okay? And you're always there whispering in their ear. They 
I'm going to cry. <laughs> they will never forget what you have done for them. Okay? I feel the emotions. My goodness. Okay. So they, they, they've they got it. They've got it. Whatever you've taught them over the years, you are constantly whispering that in their ear. And they think of you all the time. They think of you all the time. Do not worry. But look at what they're gaining. Look at what they're endeavoring. Aren't you? You're overjoyed for them. I know you are. You're overjoyed for them. Okay. This is all you ever wanted. So don't, you know, be afraid of this, of this expansion. <clears throat> okay. Three of pentacles. This is your fear. I think you think that they're going to go off and make contracts and agreements without you and um, that they're going to be involved with other people. They're going to find their own family. They're going to find their own love. They're going to find their own partners. And they're going to start pooling the resources of those people instead of you know, pooling their resources with you, okay? Mixing and mingling with the other people. That's your fear. That you're, It's simply that you're going to be forgotten or not so important or something like that. Get over it is what I want to say to you, okay? Get over it, guys. Use this as an opportunity for your own growth and let them see you be happy because they will not be happy if you are not happy. And, you know, don't do that to them, okay? Okay, so this is coming up in your hopes and fears. This is absolutely your fear. Again, kind of being left behind is kind of your fear in all of this, okay? It's time to, you know, pull yourself up here by the bootstraps here, okay? <clears throat> okay. And so in the crowning, the future position, we have the same situation here where they have so much. This, to me, Six of Pentacles is a card of mastery. They have so many resources that they, it's not, it, it's, it might be monetarily, but it's also like wisdom. And these people sit at the feet waiting for the breadcrumbs that he can feed to them because they understand his worth. They are looking at him as a master, okay? The other people are recognizing him for what he truly is. And this is, of course, what he needs in his life. Okay. And once again, he's sharing his resources. He's got plenty for himself and he's giving out to the people, just like he's going to give back to you. Okay. So he has the potential to give you so much more joy and so much more love. Okay. It's not like that's being turned off. Okay. It, it, it's simply, it's his future purpose being fulfilled here. See how happy he is in what he does and yours too, because this is truly what you wanted for him. Okay. Very interesting turn of events here, you guys. Very interesting. So I do read one more card and it's from the Native Heart Healing Oracle. And what I call this card is your key. Um, this is your key to either rectifying a situation, your key to the month of May, your key to where you're heading, um, something like that. However you see it, okay, I'm going to just see the symbolism and read that for you, okay? Silver Wolf. Okay, so I feel... He, he, why he's a mystery, it, this is your person again, and why he's a mystery is because he's been doing this in his private chambers, kind of on his own, solely. Now, you've given him the tools, and he's been forging this 
power of his. I, I want to say power, okay? And that's in the wolf too. And it's like the wolf is this nocturnal creature who's kind of doing everything, building up his clan in private, but also hunting his prey in private. I mean, it's just this elusive character. It's like, where did he come from? That's what I want to say. You know, I, I think he's been hidden and he's been covered over because at first you were kind of trying to tamper him down and keep him, you know, under wraps, okay? And then I feel like he's springing up. And where did it go? And the people are kind of like in awe of him and they think, where did this guy come from? Who, you know, what are his beginnings? He's a big mystery here is what I feel like. Okay, so here, here's the message here. Um, whatever he is turning into, okay? You know why? It's because the wolf is also the human. It's the werewolf. Whatever he's turning into, it's because of his beginnings, so everything you did and everything, the entire dynamic, I think it was a little odd at first, the dynamic, but it was so meant to be. It has turned him into this powerful person. Okay, so your key is to recognize that everything you did It's almost like you feel like you could have done better. You could have given him more. I think you feel very selfish. Okay? That is not the case. That is not the case at all. You did everything exactly as it was supposed to happen. Exactly. Okay? It's almost, this is what I'm hearing. He, um, he uh, how does the saying go? He, his heart beats to the sound of a different drum? No, what's the saying? To the beat of a different drum. Okay, it's like he marches to the beat of a different drum. Okay. That is his hidden strength. That's his hidden strength. This is all going to work out for the best. Okay. So cancer, now that you know that, relax. Okay. I, I just want to tell you that it's, it's all supposed to be this way and it all works out. Everything works out. Okay. Very, one of my more interesting reads, definitely this month, it was you and Scorpio. So absolutely amazing, you guys. Um, I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Sorry that it ran so long. It was just very, very interesting. And we had the twist of events here. So I will see you for June reading next month. Thanks for watching.